Hello everybody and welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective! It was a lot of work, but I managed to solve the puzzle here in this chapter. I solved the puzzle much more quickly than I expected, actually. It was much faster than the, the puzzle in the previous chapter. The, the puzzle in the previous chapter took me like 10-15 minutes more than this puzzle. Know yourself. That is the key to everything. So all throughout this puzzle, the Justice Minister has sort of been uh, at a distance from himself. He's, distant he's distancing himself from himself. And now he's alive again. Oh hey, there's Lynn. Lynn, are you causing him problems? Look, detective. He wants to be executed. Yeah, a confession can count as evidence. We have the music box, which is an important piece of evidence! Come on, Mr. Minister, stall that execution! Well, the minister wants to execute Detective Jowd for two reasons. In case, you, if, in case you weren't watching the previous video, reason number one is it's justice. He deserves to die. He did shoot somebody. And um, reason number two, he's being blackmailed. His daughter has been kidnapped, and the kidnappers say, we're not going to release your daughter until Detective Jowd is killed. But we just found out that his daughter isn't really being kidnapped, so... I mean, it's a false kidnapping. He doesn't have to comply with the kidnappers. Oh, and I'm over here? Why am I stuck over here? Oh yeah, that, that's where I was. Okay, let's get Lin's attention. Swing the sword. There you are! Well, yeah, he's being stubborn, but he thinks his daughter is kidnapped, so I don't really blame him. Yeah, but we found out the kidnapping was a fake kidnapping. Am I the only one that remembers this? Alright, so maybe Sissel will be able to, um, explain things to the Justice Minister. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look strange at all. Um, Lin, that, that is really strange looking. You, you think the Justice Minister is just going to accept the fact that she's carrying a sword towards him? Anyway, Minister. Hmm. 
Yes! All right, so Sissel is going to help convince the Prime Minister, uh, not, not Prime Minister, Justice Minister. No, it was a fake kidnapping. How many times do I have to explain it was a fake kidnapping? Medicine, medicine! If there's any medicine left inside the medicine jar after the way he just chugged down all his medicine in the previous video... Well, this is a tricky, tricky, tricky situation, and I have to do a trick in the tricky situation. What do you know? Oh, well. It looks like I'm the only one who knows it was a fake kidnapping. I must be the only one who knows it was a fake kidnapping. Okay, that's clearly the situation here. So let's go to the kidnapper's place and confirm that, yes, it's a fake kidnapping. I mean, if you guys watched a previous video, I already went through the phone lines to the kidnapper's place and found out that it was a fake kidnapping, so... What's going on here? And I think this is the end of the chapter. Yep, it's the end of the chapter. The chapter in which nobody remembers the fact that the kidnapping is fake, and therefore we have lots of drama. I mean, yeah, it, it's good drama. I mean, we have a fake kidnapping. Come on, that's, that's really good drama. But... The, the fact that nobody knows it's fake, uh, or, uh... Whatever. It's dramatic irony. The player knows that the kidnapping is fake while the characters don't. And that frustrates me because the characters should know that it's a fake kidnapping. That's what I'm trying to say.